anyway, um, so they pretty much have a lot of what they want. Just keep it. God, my head hurts. I hate changing elevation when I don't feel good. Just go to another website if you don't, you know, if you don't have the information on this one. Right, and depending on which school, depends on which books were available, and sometimes you had to go from your school library to the public library. or And hope some of your other classmates didn't have whatever you needed. Exactly, you know, and you had to be very picky and choosy because, you know, if, you know, another school was also doing research papers at that time and they went to the public library as well 
then you're definitely SOL as far as that. And if you didn't have encyclopedias at your house, you didn't have that to pull on. I don't even think kids nowadays would know what an encyclopedia was even used for. Well, no, because now they have Google and Wikipedia and... You and know. Wikipedia is something you, I can change information on and I'm glad to finally see some of the schools are like, no. Well, okay. Just a little disclaimer about Wikipedia. They do list who changed what at the bottom. And you can use it as a reference point and go to the sites where the information was gotten from. So if you so or I go So a jumping on, off point? Right. So if you or I go on there, it'll say, you know, Bob changed this on this day. And it's like, okay, so Bob changed that. Okay, so I can't use that. However, this was referenced from a historical website at history.com. Okay, I can go to history.com and actually look that information up. Well, at least people think of doing that. I wouldn't have because I didn't know. I didn't know it listed who did it. When I was in six, then we had to do one for social studies. Like I didn't know that, and all of the information, well, oh, most of the information I pulled, she was telling us that it wasn't right, and I was like, well, I didn't know that I wasn't supposed to use that. Like you said, look it up. You didn't say specifically, don't look up here. But in that, in and of itself, is part of the problem with old school versus new school. Yeah, but you know what none of the school ever taught? I don't remember it in our school, but I kind of bowed out after, you know, part of freshman. Right. Um, yes, I graduated. That really sounded wrong. Um, they need to learn how to do a checkbook. They need to learn their credit score. They need to learn how to pay bills and all of that stuff. Well, and the worst part is, when we were in school, the same school you and I went to, that was considered a remedial math class. Okay. That wasn't a math class that was meant to be taken as part of the normal curriculum. That was part of the math class that you got put into when you weren't able to complete algebra uh, two, or you couldn't get into beginning calculus or any of that other stuff. Dude, I couldn't do that shit. You get shunted off into taxes. I can do taxes. You get shunted off into balancing a checkbook. See, and I don't remember that, but remember, you went to a normal high school. I did not. I couldn't do it. I didn't know back then, and I don't know if it's like our age or what I didn't know what I had was anxiety yeah because every time and it, it was like it was vivid every time I touched that handle I could see everyone in the classroom turning and looking at me yeah, and most of them did because they wanted to know who was coming in the classroom right and I mean at that time now it's who's coming in with what and that scares me about our children being in school. Yeah. That scares me about living next to the school. True enough. Due to the fact that there was a bomb threat just like last year and... They let you walk out. And my, my point to that, that irritated me. They moved them all to the one side, which was actually our side of the school. But then they let them leave if they wanted to. And I told her... It's not safe, Lex. Now, that probably shouldn't be included. My thought process was send them out targets. Yeah, I, I know this sounds bad, but, and don't get me wrong, I'm not the end all, beat all for strategy. I'm sure there's other vets out there that will be like, no, this is a good strategy, and there's other vets out there that are probably going, oh, hell no, that's stupid, and might agree with me, but if there's an active shooter, or multiple active shooters, you don't herd everybody into one area, unless you're defending a point. Well, okay, so I could see if there was like a, an auditorium and they could lock anyone from coming in. 
but then you're locking out people who might need in too. I don't know. I this isn't a subject I really want to talk about on our channel. But you kind of let it here. I know, and that was purely on accident. Okay, then let's back back out of this. Okay, this generation has gotten handed basically the keys to the informational kingdom, as it were. And because of that, they have access to all of the information that we had to dig and scrape and put together ourselves. And it wasn't handed to us, it was available for access if we wanted it. We just had to go find it. Now all they gotta do is pull out their phone and Google will hand it to them. I don't know, look at uh, the, the generation gap as it was. Like, how many of our kids, uh, kids in our school, were in college at 13 or 16? How many of our kids in our class had started up a, a business and made money? I swear there are like five-year-olds who make billions. Well, especially when you look at it from the social media standpoint. Well, there's a little girl who, she has a boat business. She makes quite a bit of money. She's not five. But, like, it shows what we had access to, but it also shows we were kids. We weren't business owners. We weren't out doing the grind. And it, I feel like it's sad in the aspect to where to get ahead in life, you have to start at five. Like to get anywhere, to afford to live, you have to start making money right off the bat. Well, I mean, think about it. When we were kids, nobody gave us a heads up. Oh, by the way, your entire life's gonna be determined by this imaginary number called a credit score. No, man, and getting out from underneath of that. Well, it's like Ashley, she just paid off uh, recently four or five accounts so to zero balances. Her credit, credit score, I think she said, went up one point. Both hands on the bed. That yeah. was uh, Gust. Yep. Um, or 10. It was just like, it was minute mm -hmm. compared to what it really should have been. Well, it also depends on the account balances and how late they were and everything else. I mean, there's a bunch of uh, factors that go into it, but once again, there wasn't a class that was like, oh, by the way, this is how that works. No, because I, I got a job and I'm like, ooh, Macy's credit card, a Target credit card, and that stuff's somewhere. I don't know where to find it. Yeah. But I was like, ooh, let's spend. And then it was like, max it out. I was too young to know. That's not what you do. Not saying this one's four minutes slower if I take this one. We're still going to be there in 15 minutes, so I don't think it really matters. What do you want me to do? getting hurt yeah because you know your grandfather was a mechanic and in the military and you know he was busting knuckles and that was a reality and breaking bones and you dropped shit on your foot kind of situation and you broke a bone in your foot guess what you wrapped it up and you kept going because you had no other choice you had to make money for the family exactly you know, which is one of the reasons, you know, I didn't get taught that. 
he wanted me to go to school he wanted me to get a degree he wanted me and you know now I'm sitting on two degrees almost to a bachelor's and yeah I'm shuffling paper but you seem to be happy and that's my thing I want for my kids I am helping people and that does make me happy because I'm helping the people not only in my office but I'm also helping you know the veterans which ultimately is helping everybody you know but it wasn't the way that he thought it was going to be and it definitely wasn't the way that he portrayed it to me because it took a long time to get to this point no and that's why I wholeheartedly supported you in staying in school and only doing school well. because I wanted you to focus and I wanted you to get that degree so you could get where you wanted to be and you know we you looked at those two jobs for the state and then the federal job you ended up with the federal job and yes that comes with good stuff the state one came with good stuff too I mean don't get me wrong just different good stuff and you had to use it to where you I just feel like the VA is a good stepping stone because you can do inside transfers yeah and you if you wanted to you could change departments and get into a department you really want to be in which would that be like mental health I don't know there's a couple different departments that I'm looking into kind of mm -hmm. but I've got some classes coming up that I want to complete first and, and that's the one thing is a lot of people go into it and then they don't want to further, they don't want to take those classes. And I think you can always learn. It's like doing nails. I do nails and I can always learn something new. Mm -hmm. I can always learn a different technique. I do hair and I've had, and of course my left hand is the hand that holds the scissors and that's the one that causes me the most pain, I have to adjust. Gives me two different ways to go. Well, technically three. I'm just gonna stay on the blue, so. Um, but these kids now, having all of these options set in front of them, it's good but not good at the same time because they don't get a chance to be kids I mean they get everything set out in front of them and like you said they can start making money right off the bat which is a good thing but then that thrusts them into an, the adult arena right off the bat yeah but some of these and I just watched something on and I had never heard of her um she was she was fairly young and she got a branding and she got a following by lying and it's not the first one like they feel like they need to compete with everybody and someone's always better than them and they're not good enough and I don't want our kids to take that out you know that with them because they're the best they can be we can always work on ourselves and that's something we've told them, you know, just because you had a bad day today doesn't mean tomorrow's going to be a bad day. But then you've got people who, that's the only mindset they have. Right. Oh, today was bad. It's just going to be bad tomorrow. So why even try? Well, don't, I don't like the defeatist attitude either. Right. And I mean... When we were growing up, you know, think of the, you know, child stars and stuff like that. They're not saying everybody's going to have, you know, the same pitfalls and whatnot. But when you got a kid and that kid is making money hand over fist, there's always somebody with their hand out when you got a lot of money, for one. And for two, when you got a kid that's got a lot of money, there is that mentality 
of I need to spend it. And it's what it gets spent on is where we start running into the issue. Because once again, you have access to the money, you have access to the information. It's like, well, what am I gonna buy? Well, it's like, what I got- What can't I buy? Right. Um, I got to meet a child actor. Um, at this point, she was in her 40s when I was young. And got to pull autograph, you know, and I asked her what it was like, you know, and we, we grew up in Turlock, California. It, it wasn't like Hollywood. So to see an actress there was like the coolest thing. But then she explained that she didn't, there was money mishandled by people around her, by her parents, by her, and she was living in Stevenson, which is really, really small farm community, and that she was in a trailer, you know? She had really nothing to show for what she had done, and she had been on multiple shows. And it was just like, I don't know, like a humbling, or is that the right word? It was just like a reality check, you know? Yeah. These people aren't perfect, and you really, and even in real life, for our lives, you have to be really careful who's around you. Yeah. And that's like when it came to the social security, you were like, watch who you tell, because people are gonna start putting their hands out. And I've noticed that even with death, I had family members contact me that I hadn't talked to in 20 years. So it was a weird situation. I already had my mom unexpectedly die and then I have people who want to talk to me and all of a sudden want to come see me never did kind of situation but you know it makes you wonder why why all of a sudden what's up Lux What are we? Oh, five minutes away. So, I said one. <laughs> it will be exactly one. I don't really think he should have done that. I don't know. It just, it bothers me giving, it's almost like giving infinite anything but not giving an instruction manual to someone. I don't give those for babies. Like slippery when wet should be like right off the bat. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you know, I mean, kids have unlimited potential. Yeah, they do. But, Especially nowadays. Well, and even before. We had unlimited potential, but our parents didn't know what to do with it, hence the reason some of, some of us didn't exactly end up being awesome. <laughs> but uh, they did the best with what they had. Right? I've seen some of the people we went to school with now. Don't be judgy. <laughs> Even though it's true. <laughs> uh, but, the, you know, doing the best with what you have is what you do. Right. God, we know that. You know. We had to struggle to get you through school. Right. And even in that instance, when you give something with unlimited potential, an unlimited resource, and the only check and balance it has is its parents, but because of outside influence, the need for resources, the need for the parents to be out and away for nine, ten hours out of the day in order to keep money coming in, 
and both parents end up have to work. Oh, wow. You know, you end up having a kid that goes to school for seven or eight hours out of the day, that wants to go hang out with their friends for another four to six hours out of the day. So you end up with a kid that's awake almost, what, 14 hours? With no parental guidance. Mm -hmm. Other than maybe a text message or six from their parents, they might pay attention to. And you have to hope like hell that there's a good enough bond between the kid and the parent. Otherwise, you end up with a very, very dangerous situation. Yeah, I still, I like to be home when our kids are home. Or try to be there quickly after. And our kids are old enough to be at home. I just don't like them to be home and alone. I'd like to, them to come home to someone. Dude, was she here? I just seen her. Well, yeah, but even even in that instance, mm -hmm. it, it's still one of those situations where the kids can. I mean, don't get me wrong. Kids are always going to make stupid decisions because you learn more from a failure than you do from a success. I mean, that's just point blank how it is. We learned more from, you know, falling down or, you know, taking off too fast and trying to go around a corner and, oops, surprise, there's something there, you know, than we did from, hey, I made that. Because then you start getting cocky and you try to do it again somewhere else and, you know, that's when you have your, well, okay, maybe I shouldn't have done that again. Right. You know? But it, it it really does bother me when you have these things and then... I forget there's a cinema here. It leads into discussions like kids wanting to get involved in politics. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure it wouldn't lose anything. Okay. Oh. Gee, I wonder if we have to go there. I I'm going with probably. You know, kids wanting to get involved in right discussions and stuff like that, which I'm not saying that they shouldn't have a say in some of it, but at the same time, how much say should they have? Right. <sighs> And that's when you start getting into these gray areas. Boy. Over there? Yeah. Maybe we should cut this off then. Huh?